Paint chemicals and their functions. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Bright. In this channel, I bring you tips and information about paint production and interior services. And today, I'm bringing you another mind blowing information on the names of chemicals used in paint production and their functions. As I always say, understanding the functions of your chemicals is what makes you a master in paint production. So, if you want to venture into paint production business, or you are a painter, you are a producer, you want to know more about paint production, the first thing you need to know is the functions of these chemicals. Because knowing the functions of your chemicals will help you to know the quantity and the qualities of paint you want to give to your clients. And it will help you to master your products, to know the cost of chemicals, the amount you, you, you are going to sell your, your, your paint and the amount you are investing in the paint is very important. So we will be looking at the names of these chemicals used in paint production and their functions. And the number one thing we are going to look at is the functions of water. Number one is water for water-based paint. If you are producing water-based paint, water is very important. So Water for water-based paint is used in mixing all the chemicals together in order to achieve homogeneous mix. And it must be clean and neat water with normal water temperature. So the number two we are going to look at is thinner, thinner, kerosene or spirits. This is for oil-based paints. Please take notes. Thinner, kerosene or spirits is a solvent for oil-based paints. Please, any of these can, can, can be used. You may not, you don't use all. Any of these is either you use thinner or you use kerosene or you use spirits. It's, it is the solvent that will help you to dissolve the acid very, very well. So that is the number two. Number two in my list is titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide, known as titan. What is the functions of titan in paint production? It's very important. It's very important you know all these things. Because uh, let me tell you something that most people don't know. Titan is not used in production of all paints. There are colors you will like to, you want to produce. You don't need to involve titan. <laughs> let me not go there. So what is the work of titan? Titan is a whitening agent. Titan is a whitening agent used majorly in production of brilliant white paint. Titan is just like white pigment, just as we have our normal orange oxide you know, black oxide and all that. Titan is white pigment. And it is very important while producing brilliant white paints. Anything white paints, you can then use titan. So, kaolin. Kaolin. Number four, kaolin. This chemical is very important in production of emotion and um, taste coat paints. Kaolin is very, very important in, in paint production. Many people don't know the functions of this chemical kaolin many let it down but it works wonders when it comes to paint production and it's very important in emotion and taste coat paints you can include it in in, in matte paint but it's not advisable in certain paints please take note of that kaolin is very it serves as a coverage kaolin serves as a coverage like when you, you, it covers, it cover, it helps the paint to cover the inner shade, all the dots, all the. It's a coverage. You should understand what I mean by coverage. So, kaolin, kaolin serves as a coverage and also serves as a filler to increase the body of the paint. You understand? It serves as a filler also. So it works wonders in paint production. Very important. The number five we are looking at today is calcium carbonates. Calcium carbonate, known as calcium, everywhere in the market. This is the base matrix of emulsion and taste coat paints. Meaning, without calcium, there is no taste coat paints or textured paints. Calcium is what gives the paints body. It serves it serves as a filler also. It gives more body in paints than kaolin. That is calcium for you. And there are two types of calcium in the market. There are dolomites, which is white, and there are calcites, which is off white. So the number six we are going to look at is uh, pigment, pigment, which is colorant, pigment. These are the coloring agents that, that is used in generating color in paint, pigment. I will take time 
please make sure you 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 subscribe to this channel because i'll be bringing you updates informations more informations on paint production believe you me. so i'll be i'll be treating on this pigment i'll be treating on this pigment but not now i'll take time to make a video for you guys concerning pigments because there are two types of pigments and pigment is very very the most sensitive part in paint production is 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 easier to produce your white paint everybody can produce white paint yes anybody with a good guidance can produce um white paint but not everybody can produce color paint when it comes to color getting color generating color in paint it needs a lot of initiative so you have to be very careful so i'll take time to explain more on pigment in one of my video coming shortly i'll take time to I, i'll take time to explain that so the number six chemicals in paint production is acrylic acrylic or pva for the vinyl asserted pva the two works the same thing note note there are chemicals that works the same thing but they are just name differences and product differences for example nitro soap and bamako works the same thing it's just quality differences name differences and let me say product differences so they work the same thing acrylic and pva works the same thing but there are a little difference in acrylic and pva you, you can't produce all paints with pva not all paints depending your location and all that not all paints that you can produce with pva yes for example satin paint being sick paint is not advisable to use pva on satin paint we talk on that so what is the function of acrylic in paint production this chemical is very 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 important in paint production if you want to give a quality paint your acrylic serves as a king in that product it's loose acrylic is the gum is the binder so it is the quantity of your acrylic that determines the quality of your paint yes the quantity of your acrylic determines the quality of your paint. It is very, very important. It helps the paint to stink on the wall or any object where the paint is painted. So this chemical is very important in paint production. The quantity of this chemical acrylic determines the quality of your paint. I repeat. So why making use of your acrylic and you want to give quality paint? Please. Your acrylic is very important. Take note of that. Number eight is ammonia and formalin. Ammonia and formalin are preservatives. They are preservatives. But take note, ammonia and formalin are very corrosive. So make sure you guide yourself very well. Don't inhale it. It's very, very dangerous in health. Ammonia and formalin, they also serve the same thing. You understand? So it's, it's, it's advisable to guide yourself very well. Very, very important. Very important. Before introducing ammonia and your formalin. They serve the same function as preservatives. They prevent the paint from decaying and smelling badly. You understand? They are preservative. They serve as preservative to help the paint to stay still day one. You understand what I mean? Not to decay or start smelling, giving one kind of bad odor and all that. And it helps to facilitate the drying ability of the paint. These chemicals. They also help to increase the durability of that paint. Ammonia and formally they are very important if you are putting the two make sure you put a little quantity of each of each of them please don't excess use your ammonia or your formally in paint production then number nine is nitro soap nitro soap and bamako nitro soap and bamako these chemicals also serve the same function they are the thickener they are very important in the in paint production without your nitro soap and bamako you are just missing chemicals inside water because they are the thickener that will bring all the chemicals together your nitro soap and bamako is very important but don't excess use them don't excess use them when you excess use it in paint it, it, it will be even difficult for you to turn the paint it will be very difficult for the paint to be applied so you have to know the quantities of these chemicals very important i am going to make a video also on the quantities of chemicals used in paint production coming soon so your bamako your nitro soap and bamako are very important in paint production they are the thickener that brings all the chemicals together that is the works of nitro soap and bamako they also help the paint
to they help the paint to abide abide on the wall very very well. So they are they are, they are very very important in paint production. Also extend the paint durability is very important. The number ten is hydro so there is nitro so and there is hydro so hydro so is a brightening agent that integrates the color of the paint and bring out the best in it hydro so it helps the color of the paint to to to, to brighten out you understand it helps the not to be not to be dull not to be dull you understand so your hydro so is also very important in paint production number 11 jennifer Jennifer. <laughs> a lot of people let this chemical down, but I can tell you Jennifer helps a lot in paint production. It is an extender. If you want your paint to spread very well, you want your paint, want to maybe for example use one bucket of super quality paint mm, to paint like two to cover like two three rooms with one bucket of paint, you can do that. It, it depends on the quantities of your chemicals. So Jennifer helps a lot in such products. Or production your jennifer will help your paint to spread very wide in large quantity that is the work of jennifer and it's also help in neutralizing some you know rubbish in paint production particles of chemicals you understand it's also help in that so your jennifer is also very important in paint production take note of that and number 12 there's a no there's a no there's a no there's a no is very 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 important also in production of certain sick paints is me but personally I use it in all my products in all my production because just a little quantity in emotion or um, mats but when it comes to taste and certain or sick paints your taste alone plays a major role of the washability you understand what makes certain paints washable is your taste alone it's very important it's very important but you don't need to assess use your chemicals because you, you you want to make your paint to be you know excess using your chemicals has also effects in that product so don't assess use your chemicals please your taste and is and lamina is a lamina it laminates the paint and gives gives it washable ability you understand he said it's a lamina it laminates the paint yeah? and give it a washable ability it makes the surface of your satin paint to be very smooth and stain free. That is the work of Tezanon. Take note of that. And it also makes your paint to be shiny. It makes the, the paint to be glittery, to be shiny. You understand? So the chemical has, that is why it's very costly. And that is why satin paints, sick paints are very expensive. So if you calculate the cost of chemicals currently now in production, producing one bucket of quality satin paints, you should know how much you're going to sell it. So, but sometimes our clients don't, don't always consider that. The number 13 here is aluminium silicate. Aluminium silicate, known as silicate. This is a whitening agent. It's a whitening agent. It's, it is used only in production of brilliant white paint. You don't need to add aluminium silicate in production of colored paint. You are going to spoil your paint so badly. So take note of that. Aluminium silicate is used in production of white paint. Only, please, it's not advisable in colored paint. Thank you. The number 14 is the former. The former, this is used to eliminate foams in paint during production. You know, when you miss, as you're missing those chemicals, there are bubbles, there are foams on the on top of the paint. So, the former serves as an um, eliminator, like it eliminates the paint, the bubbles, the foams on the paint, and makes the face of the paint to be so cool and so clean. So no, 14, antifungal or antiside, antifungal or antiside. This chemical prevents fungus from attacking and growing on the paint wall, especially on external wall. You know, after painting in a short period, they start seeing green green things on the wall. This chemical plays that role of eliminating that antifungal or antiside. It is advisable while producing external paint, paint that you're going to use on, on the outside wall. So it's very important your yeah, antifungal or antiside is very important. Take note of that. Number 16, sodium benzonate or EPW. Sodium benzonate or EPW. These chemicals have the same function. They, their duty is to prevent the color of the paint from fading. Their duty is to prevent the color of the paint from fading. 
so if you don't want the color of your paint to fade so easily more especially on the external wall your sodium bosonate and epw is very important 17 cargo 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 this is a dissolver cargo serves as a dissolver before you introduce anything more especially when while making use of um, titan or any any oxide colorant it is very important you use your cargo very important cargo is very important after your water the next thing is your cargo very important it helps to dissolve some particles of chemicals easily during production then 18 is acid this is used only in oil paints in production of oil paints acid is a binder in kind of i am as acrylic is a binder in water based paints acid is a binder in oil based paints so take note of that number 13 is marble dust marble dust this is used only in production of textured paints anything test code or textured paints so that is when you use your marble dust without your marble dust there is no test code there is no texture paint so your marble dust is very important in production of test code and textured paints and there are two types of marble dust in the industry there are rough marble dust and smooth marble dust so take note of that both of them are good depending the kind of textured paint you want to produce if you want to produce test coat paints normal tit and sand tit paints is very good and advisable you combine the two in production of test coat paint so the two will give you a perfect finished look so just know the quantities to add and you are good to go but in production of normal textured paint like like um, graphite test and all that you need only smooth marble dust yes smooth marble dust for that so there are two the, the two are very good the two are very good it depends on the kind of paint you want to produce so that is that for today i hope you learned something i hope you grab something please save this video download this video and go through it very well so that you will master your chemicals very 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 well before inventoring into that business it's very important you know the functions of these chemicals and the quantities required the reason why you know you need to know the quantities of chemicals required in paint production is for you to be able to calculate your costs because any business that you are doing and you don't know how much you are investing that simply means you will not know how much you are gaining or how much you are losing so it's very important in one bucket of paint you know the you know how much it costs you to produce that one bucket of paint and how much you are going to sell it it's very important so give me subscribe follow this channel more information are coming to you shortly like i said my name is bright and if you have any information any any question you can also contact me on whatsapp on plus two three four six three two nine six four nine three thank you